Hi everybody, it's Mike, the Newbury Town Library Tech Help Guy, with a quick tip on browsing the web on your iPad. How many times have you typed something into Google search and then gone back and forth between links trying to find the best answer for your search? In many cases, this back and forth can seem endless and end up with you losing the original search and having to start all over again. Well, here's a quick tip to make this searching simpler. In this example, I'm going to search on the term how to sew a seam by typing it directly into the address bar in Safari on my iPad. Note there's no need to go to Google in order to do this. As usual I get a long list of results here and I'm not sure which one is going to be the best, so I'll have to explore some of these links. But instead of just tapping on a link to go to a web page, tap and hold on the link until you see this pop-up window. Note that one of the options is to open in a new tab, so let's select this option. At the top of the screen you will see that you now have two tabs. The search tab, which is still selected, and a new tab for the link you just tapped on that isn't selected just to its right. Now tap on the new tab here and you can see the first link. Let's say this isn't good enough. Instead of hitting the back arrow just tap on the search tab here and you're right back to your search. Now let's tap and hold another link. Again, we get a new tab to the right of the search tab. Open it, and let's say we decide it's not the right one for us either. So let's tap again on the search tab. As you can see, we never lose our search this way, and we can open as many tabs as we need. We can easily go back and forth to any of these tabs with just one tap. This is particularly useful when you type in a long search term that you'll probably never remember again. It's also very helpful when you select a link that has many other links that may lead you off to a web page from which it's hard to return back to your search. Well, that's it for today's quick tip. Please check back for more quick tips on the Newbury Town Library Tech Help Facebook page. Also be sure to take advantage of Tech Help Wednesday where you can get one-on-one -on -one help from 12 to 2 p.m. at the Newbury Town Library.